What? Another unboxing? I thought this channel was about casting and scrap metal. Well, yes, there will be more of that. But this is basically a channel of my hobbies. And video games is one of my hobbies. And also an inspiration for casting projects. So bear with me on this one. There might be some cool stuff in here that I can actually use to make molds and cast something out of. Let's get into it. This is the God of War Ragnarok Jotnar edition. There is the collector's edition, which is a similar box but has slightly less in it. This is the Jotnar edition. This is the rarest one, the most special one, and the most expensive one. Well, I'm a huge nerd, so I always get these well, almost museum pieces of video games. Let's start with the simple one. This is the limited edition version of the uh, God of War Ragnarok PS5 controller. This isn't that special, but it is a limited edition version, so uh, at some point these are going to be gone. And I already have white controller and a black controller, and now I have a white-blue controller. I just had to get that along with this collector's edition. So yeah, let's uh, first get this thing out of the box. So yeah, your basic PS5 controller, but some very cool artwork on there. This is actually smooth. I think on the other controllers, this has a bit of a pattern on it. Um, the square, circle, triangle and X all have the same colors. I think they have uh, different colors on the older PlayStation controllers. I'm not sure if, if they're the same color on the other PS5 controllers. Let me quickly get that one. So yeah. White buttons on the white one, black buttons on the black one, black buttons on this one. And uh, I was wrong, there's actually no texture on these. That was the PS4 controller actually. But yeah, this is a pretty cool addition. I won't be running out of controllers anytime soon. I'll have all of them charged and as soon as one is empty I can quickly get another one. Right, enough of those. Let's get into that big box. One huge box. Where to begin? Ah, we got something here. All right, this is pretty cool. Uh, I have seen an unboxing of this, so I kind of know what to expect. Well, there's a couple of doors here, and they are held in by magnets. Let's see if I can get this to stay open. Right. This opens up. Oh, this comes out completely. Now, I think I know there's something in here. Let's see? I would not have known if I've not seen the uh, unboxing of this. I believe this is a record vinyl. There's something you don't see often anymore, records. That's pretty cool. Instead of a soundtrack CD, you get a soundtrack vinyl. And it's see-through and green. Amazing. Right. 
So that's not that useful for casting, but it's cool for some inspirational music while working. Let's see, put this aside. A lot of plastic in here. This is the coolest part of the whole thing. This will come out in one go. This thing is huge. Oh, some of the plastic is slightly broken. Oh wow, it's lighter than I expected. I'm used to holding real weapons. So this is Mjolnir. It's uh, completely different from the Mjolnir that Thor uses in uh, the Marvel movies. But um, it is said that the original Mjolnir uh, more has this shape and is about this size. Well, probably maybe even bigger. Oh, they even got a little piece of cardboard in here. Now, uh, it would be awesome if I was able to make a mold of this. Maybe just even the head, and this probably doesn't disconnect, it's all on there. Would be very cool if I could cast these in brass, this in aluminium for instance, and then have an actual wooden handle on there, and try to make a metal version of this. I doubt that I will be able to, that's slightly beyond my capabilities for now, maybe one day. But this is a very cool addition to my video game well, collection and, and museum pieces, basically. Alright, so uh, let's uh, set this aside for now, because there's more in here. So the top part also opens. Somehow. Oh, I think you just lift it. Yes. All kinds of other cool stuff in there. I really like that they made the whole thing look like old grey wood. I forgot which type of wood actually turns grey, but there is a type of wood that does that. So, let's see what we got in here. This is the steel case. Uh, unfortunately, this is again, because this is one of those collector's editions, it doesn't come with an actual can I with an actual disc in it? It comes with uh, game codes that you have to input in your PlayStation account. Let's just uh, keep the plastic on here for now. But a very cool steel case and some other little figures and items. These are um, well wood carvings, I think. Uh, things from within the game they are not actual wood carvings in here i think these are a type of resin but um, some uh, very uh, detailed pieces now i have not played uh, viking of war as i call it i've only played the greek versions of god of war I'm, uh, somewhat behind character and I think these are gaming dice Seen those? What's this? Oh, it's a bag of one of those. Um, uh, <laughs> don't eat those. <laughs> a moisture absorber thingamajiggers. Let's see. There's a cool little bag. And a bunch of uh, multiple-sided dice. Uh, you get your four-sided, six-sided, what is this, eight-sided, this is 
10 sided, this is 20 sided <laughs> or so. No, no, no. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 10 sided. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't know. If you're into like D&D games, um, Dungeons and Dragons stuff, they uh, usually have dice like these for all kinds of purposes. These are pretty cool. Now, um, again, this is not really something I might be able to make a mold of these and, uh, and try and cast these in actual metal. This would probably be cool in aluminium. But yeah, now that's maybe for the future. Let's see, because there's more under here I have gathered. Yes. This behind there. There is, now this is pretty cool. I'm probably gonna have this framed. This is a map. And it's, the map is made on, I think, I think it has some cardboard inside. I think it's a, some type of cloth or, or leather maybe even. It has the, it has the nine realms on it. Let's see if I can. Point you at the wall here. Yeah, some pretty cool stuff. They're actually in the shop. I think it is. I'll just uh, put this on the table and show you later. More stuff. Another little bag with the, the Greek uh, logo on there. Kind of reminds me of the Spartans. Uh, if anyone remembers the movie 300. That movie actually came out just around the same time as the second God of War on PlayStation 2. So what is this? Little springy thingy. Another cool little bag. More of those moisture absorbing thinger majiggers. Alright, this is this is a ring. Looks pretty cool, kind of like a golden rough look to it. It might be. Oh, it's actually pretty good. This this works for me. This is slightly tight. Uh oh, oh no, it's it's good. It's good. It's funny how your left hand, if you're right-handed, that your left hand fingers are usually slimmer. But yeah, pretty cool. And now some more stuff, because this is something I can make a more of. This is in there. Okay. These are three pins. Look at these. But the, what's that? Uh, it's not an owl, it's like a hawk, a wolf and a bear. Now, looking at these, I can probably make a mold of these and uh, cast them in aluminium, brass or bronze, combination of both. Maybe you can even get these little pieces cast as well in some way. So yeah, this, this is the cool stuff. This is what I like <laughs> the most about these collector's editions, these, these little Things that I can use for, for making castings. I'm, I know casting really big things like, like the Mjolnir uh, itself or, or, or like swords or knives is pretty cool. But I, I really like these tiny little uh, things with, with lots of details. So yeah, it's, uh, some pretty cool stuff. So that was uh, everything that's in here. Let me set everything up and show you the whole, the whole thing. So here is everything set up. Let me quickly go over everything again. 
this is the cloth map that shows the nine realms one two three four five six seven eight nine and apparently these are zones in the game that you can actually visit and uh, wreak all kinds of havoc and there's some um, text here that i cannot read probably have to like use uh, some type of translator for that but this is a uh, a very cool piece i uh, i might look to have this uh, framed uh, so that i can hang it on the wall without it uh, getting blemished and stuff so yeah it was the final record with some pretty cool art on there this was the sleeve of the record which also has some pretty cool artwork on it like two hands creating a heart and again the wolf and I think a fox. There's the three pins that I really like. I am definitely going to try to make molds of these and see if I can uh, cast anything that uh, comes even close. These two cool figures of which I forgot the names. I remember it being mentioned in the original unboxing but I completely forgot so just leave it at that. The very cool ring, which actually fits me. I'm not one for wearing jewelry myself, but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool item. And a very cool looking bag. Same for uh, these dice. Very nicely uh, detailed bag and even more detailed little dice and I have no idea how these work because I've never played Dungeons and Dragons which uses dice like these and probably some other games as well but they look very cool indeed they are some type of resin so they're not metal but it would be very cool if they were actually metal would be heavy to throw around though <laughs> Maybe even dangerous. A cool steel case. And of course, the main thing, the Mjolnir hammer. Now this thing is hollow and not that heavy, but it's, uh, it's very detailed and uh, very well made for what it is. And uh, I will probably set this up somewhere. And then there was, of course, the god of war controller which didn't come with this set the box set but i got separate god of war ragnarok limited edition controller very cool now i've actually found something cool during dumpster diving maybe even over a year ago it has a bit of a greek look to it and I thought I could maybe use this thing to set up something from my God of War collection. I didn't have this yet of course but I might be able to like put this on there even though this would be uh, Nordic and not Greek it does kind of work maybe like this we have to be very carefully balanced on there there's a few little chips broken off so I might have to might have to give this a new layer of paint but yeah I not sure if I have it on video that I found this and I am working on a dumpster diving compilation to upload if I find the footage I'll add this in here in either the next one or the one after that um, not that that's uh, that interesting for the people watching these videos probably but yeah I have a couple of more God of War items that I've collected over the years. Let me show you those. So first off, Pandora's box. This was the God of War 3 Collector's Edition, which actually, uh, no, the, tr the Trilogy Edition, I think it was. This had God of War 1, 2, and 3 in it. Uh, 1 and 2 were released for PlayStation 2, and 3 was released for PlayStation 3. And this was basically a 
remastered version of one and two for PlayStation 3. Now I know you can all play them on PlayStation 4 and 5 now. Let's see if this slides open. Yeah, the horns and the skulls and the my hands grabbing at everything. Now this came with um, uh, not that much. It, it came with the the artwork of God of War 3, a uh, small booklet, and had some postcards and the soundtracks to God of War 1 and 2 and 3, and of course God of War 1, 2 and 3 in there. And there's a cool thing because it looks like this is all, but you can actually take out this inner bit and there's more there this has the game codes in it which of course are already been used And then when I got the collector's edition for God of War Ascension, it came with this, a statue of Kratos. Now this uh, looks way more fancy than it actually is. This is a hollow plastic bit and I think the character is made of uh, vinyl, but it does look pretty damn cool. Very good details on the skirt and uh, the chains and the Blades of Chaos and, uh, and the clothing. And actually the face is pretty done pretty well. And then there's something that I got that wasn't with a game or a collector's edition, it's just something that I bought separately when I came across it. The Blades of Chaos, of course. Now this isn't like a plastic replica. This thing is actually made of metal and the chain is actually real. Let me show you. It's not sharp. That's a good thing. It's uh, quite heavy. I think the blade is made of aluminium. Uh, this is some form of cast, probably also cast aluminium. And uh, the handle, this feels like some type of molded plastic. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an officially licensed version. There you go. by United Cutlery, I think. Yes, indeed. I own many United Cutlery items from all kinds of different movies and franchises and, uh, and games. I have the Daywalker sword from Blade. I have many swords from Lord of the Rings. Uh, the very large Bowie knife uh, from Rambo 3, signed by Sylvester Stallone, a limited edition of it. Uh, all kinds of stuff. The Slayer Scythe from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Many, many things. At some point, when this place is cleaned up, I'll do a tour. But of course, if you're going to get one of these, you might as well get both. So thank you all for watching and see you on the next one.
So thank you all. Off fucking course.